Hello everyone, oh in this video we'll be discussing about the 2019 novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2, 2019 CoV, is a new type of coronavirus identified as the cause of an outbreak of respiratory illness first detected in Wuhan, China. Those affected may develop a fever, dry cough, fatigue, and shortness of breath. COVID-19 is the disease caused by SARS-CoV-2. The coronavirus COVID-19 is affecting 110 countries and territories around the world. The Coronavirini family consists of four genera based on their genetic properties, including genus Alpha Coronavirus, genus Beta Coronavirus, genus Gamma Coronavirus, and genus Delta Coronavirus. Host range and tissue tropism show a lot of variation among different cuffs. Generally, the alpha coronavirus and beta coronavirus can infect mammals, and the gamma coronavirus and delta coronavirus can infect birds, but some of them can also infect mammals. SARS-CoV-2, SARS coronavirus and MERS coronavirus all belong to the beta coronavirus genus and are zoonotic pathogens that can cause severe respiratory diseases in humans. Genome analysis of SARS-CoV-2 showed that SARS-CoV-2 was slightly different from SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV, but the functionally important ORFs, ORF1A and ORF1B, and major structural proteins such as the spikes, membrane M, envelope E, and nucleic capsid N proteins are well annotated. The spikes protein projects through the viral envelope and forms the characteristic spikes in the coronavirus crown. It is heavily glycosylated, probably forms a hermotrimer, and mediates receptor binding and fusion with the host cell membrane. The membrane M protein has a short and terminal domain that projects on the external surface of the envelope and spans the envelope three times, leaving a long C-terminus inside the envelope. The M protein plays an important role in viral assembly. The nucleocapsid protein N associates with the RNA genome to form the nucleocapsid. It may be involved in the regulation of viral RNA synthesis and may interact with M protein during virus budding. The hemagglutinin esterase glycoprotein he is found only in the SARS-CoV-2. The hemagglutinin moiety binds to neuraminic acid on the host cell surface possibly permitting initial adsorption of the virus to the membrane. The small envelope E protein leaves its C-terminus inside the envelope and then either spans the envelope or bends around and projects its N-terminus internally. It has been reported that SARS-CoV-2 2019 CoV spike protein interacts with human ACE2 to infect human respiratory epithelial cells. Creative Diagnostics now can provide SARS-CoV-2 antigens and antibodies. These antigens can be used for scientific research, detection of novel coronavirus and preparation of neutralizing antibodies. These antibodies are useful for researchers interested in viral research. These products are for research use only and are not intended for therapeutic or diagnostic applications. For more information please visit creative diagnostics.com. Thank you.